Hey, more short films, more short films. What's up, it's the Culture Detective. You're investigating your favorite albums, and today I'm going to be doing a second review of the day real quick, one second, and that is the new Black Thought and Danger Mouse album, Cheat Codes. So, uh, two legendary figures in hip hop come together to make an album. Black Thought is one of the members of The Roots. He is fantastic, very talented, and very much experienced in the field. Of hip hop. Danger Mouse is a legendary producer who have worked with everyone all the way from Gorillaz and the legendary late MF Doom. So uh, together we have a pr relatively small album, Cheat Codes, where we have a set of really well produced, well written tracks. The album opener sometimes is a very cinematic opener with grand soulful strings, a robust bass, the performances are very passionate, and right off the bat, Black Thought sounds as passionate as ever. He really spits the bars while still maintaining a very concise flow. And the flow switches really nice. And we have the title track with the chunky percussion, the skipping rhythms, and the really nice horns. I love the production on the album. It's easily my favorite aspect of the album. I think it's very tasteful, lo-fi, dusty, and artsy. And... Um, so far, production-wise, I think this is one of the best hip-hop albums of the year so far. Then we have The Darkest Part, which is a boom-bap track with very sweet pianos. Raekwon hops on the track, Raekwon of Wu-Tang Clan fame, and he gives a fantastic verse. And then we have the track No Gold Teeth with the fat bass, the twang guitars, and lo-fi drums. The beat is a little loose, so it's not as memorable as I would have hoped it would be, but overall, again, the production, not bad at all. Then here comes um, what I think is uh, my favorite three tracks on the album, back to back to back. We have the track Because, which has these relaxing soul guitars and drums, and uh, for some freaking reason, totally did not expect this, but this track features Joey Badass, which is good, but Russ as well, Russ. And on this track, lyrically, everybody raps about poverty and violence, but Russ raps about himself, his own image and his fame. And I think it works because Russ's verse truly feels sincere, but also because I feel like, again, given that there's Russ on this track, um, it's a little weird. And for him to rap about something else actually feels like it makes a lot of sense. But what comes after is amazing. The track Belize is haunting, moody, and amazing. I love the shimmery keyboards. The horns are nocturnal and strange. And we have these uh, almost these soul chant vocals in the back, which makes this track um, a very, okay, which makes this track very heavy. And then we have a posthumous verse from mf doom and he's fantastic on this track so there's that and then we have aquamarine holy cow this track is amazing this track features michael kiwanuka who provides some really nice singing but what's amazing about this track is the production it's incredibly dramatic and epic with the very cinematic pianos and the very cinematic lyrics as well on human condition and spirituality then we have Identical Deaths, which is an easygoing, breezy track with some simple, spacey keyboards. Um, the second half of the track is completely instrumental, so um, not really all that memorable. Strangers is an amazingly groovy track with muddy, stuttery drums. And once again, we have a pretty freaky uh, feature combination here. First of all, we have ASAP Rocky and Run the Jewels, which is, by the way, Killer Mike and LP. So uh, again, pretty strange combination given that Run the Jewels and ASAP Rocky and Black Thought. I mean, I could see Run the Jewels and Black Thought coming together. Run the Jewels is more mainstream and Black Thought is more artsy, but together they're still, you know, high class hip hop. And then we have ASAP Rocky in here out of nowhere, except ASAP Rocky actually sounds totally fine on this track. But of course, of course, Killer Mike is the killer on this track. He killed the track. He's amazing. Then we have Close to Famous. I think the beat is kind of weak. The pitchy organs, the 
uh, drums are a bit off. Overall, it's not that bad. It just sounds a bit off. Uh, Salt Water is an eerie, spacey, boom bap track featuring Conway the Machine. And this track sounds more like a Conway track than it does sound like a track um, by Black Thought with the very spacey, clean production. Uh, it still sounds fine. That's that. And the album ends off with violas and lupitas with the sweet strings and a dusty rhythm. I think Black Thought gives a very passionate performance here. Lyrically, it's nothing all that surprisingly great, but I think it does have a very nice instrumental ending. So yeah, overall, this is um, what I think about this new album. I think it's really solid. It's definitely one of the more tasteful and artsy rap albums of the year so far. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'm giving the new Black Thought and Danger Mouse album uh, cheat codes a strong 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the new album from Black Thought and Danger Mouse? From 1 to 10, would you rate it? Like it, like it, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.